my favorite one-liner. I love you, Laura. <laughs> No, I think that my favorite was, of course, was So Say We All. Tell them the story of that, Edward. Tell them the story of how that came, developed into something. Oh, um, Ron had written uh, the, the scene, and uh, when we started to do it, it was the very first scene we ever did together. Um, the very first day of shooting was uh, they did a couple of hours with uh, Baltar and Six, and they were just kind of like getting trying to figure that relationship out a little bit. And then they went in and they did, they had hundreds of uh, people that came in extras. And we, we were using the, the hangar for the first time. And of course it was the scene, the So Say We All scene. And uh, basically what ended up happening is we ended up, uh, they were trying to stage it. And I just said, listen, this is, it was so brutally uh, surreal what was going on because we had just finished going through 9-11 um, and it was really not a healthy time and so to be going into this world this way we were all kind of trying to get our footing and our footing was, was really, nobody knew each other so we were all kind of very depressed and we have been standing around for like a couple of hours waiting to do this scene and then we finally got around to do it and the first time I did it we never rehearsed uh, I said, no, let's, let's shoot it. Uh, and he said, well, aren't you going to stand over there? I go, no, no, I'm going to stand over here with everybody. And, uh, you know, you guys can move cameras, right? <laughs> and, 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 you know, the guys are going, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So attitudes were flying, right? And everybody's like trying to get their footing. So I started walking. And as I, and you'll see it tonight. It's actually it's upstairs. They use a clipping of it where you actually see a little bit of that scene. And I started to walk around, and it was so everybody was so depressed, the whole I mean just gone, and and so the hope was gone. And that's when I did the big lie, you know. And so I walked around the dead bodies, and I came up to the front and I came to everybody, and then I just said. You know, we will find Earth. I promise you, we will find Earth. <laughs> so say we all. <laughs> and and, and it, nobody said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, I said, so say we all. So say we all. <laughs> so say we all. So say we all. That's what the third time happened. <laughs> And of course, that became, it, it really united, it united everybody. In a way, the camera department, the, I mean, people were shocked. I mean, people started crying. It became a very, very strong single moment of hope. And that's when we knew right from the very first day that the show was going to be something that we would never be able to understand, nor could we, because it was just, it had a life all of its own. Everybody. There were kids in that, in our crew, actors on, on camera that had never been on camera before. And these people all rose to the level of incredible expectation and they all went for it. And boy, some of the best performances we had were the young ones who had never done anything. And I gotta thank you know Ron Moore and Glenn for creating it and Ron Moore for his incredible inspired understanding of this reimagining of a tremendous piece of work that ended up becoming, and it, it's, you haven't seen it, it's like Blade Runner. Blade Runner is better today than it was 30 years ago. And, and people look at it, and people who have never seen it before, people who have never seen Blade Runner before, when they see it now, they go, man, this is really good. Yeah, it's 30 years old. <laughs> when they see this program in 50 years, they're going to say, man, these people are really hitting it right on the head. You know, this was really amazing. It really speaks to us today. And, and because it's not going to, believe me, it'll happen before it's going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> so say we all. So say we all.